What's up gamers, this is Idle Wild. If you're enjoying the content on my channel, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join in discussions and contribute to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Spotlight Devontae Parker who goes for around 200,000 coins in the auction house. As you can see, I have a compared to the ultimate legend Herman Moore who goes for around 400 to 450,000 coins in the auction house. I have these two compared against each other because they're both built similarly and you should probably use them the same on your offense. They're both big wide receivers with solid speed who are supposed to be able to make those tough catches in traffic and who are supposed to be able to win those one-on-one -on -one slash jump ball situations. It was kind of hard for me to find someone to compare Devontae Parker to because he has to be big, fast, and be able to make catch in traffic but also not able to be able to block. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some film of Devontae Parker to see if he's worth that 200,000 coin price tag. So even though he doesn't have the best run blocking stats, I figured it was an... Uh, valid enough to test it because sometimes wide receivers with low run block are able to run block pretty well and other receivers like Mike Williams who have 70 plus run block still can't run block. So the stats really aren't true for most wide receivers but I decided to test Devontae Parker anyway and unfortunately for him his stats ring true for his run blocking and that he can't run block that well. I mean sometimes he'll be able to hold the block long enough for you to get the edge but I wouldn't count on him every single down if you're going to be a run heavy team. I definitely sub him out with a tight end or another wide receiver who can block. So I mean it's not really a disappointment because you're not ex he's not expected to be able to run block that well. But what he does win is these one-on-one -on -one situations whether it's man coverage, cover three or cover two. When, whenever it comes time to win a battle of a one-on-one -on -one catch versus a corner or a DB or anybody else. I would definitely count Devontae Parker to win that situation. As you can see, he's able to beat the press pretty well, and his good speed and good size mean that even though it's press man and you might have a man over top, he still had, you still have a window to throw that ball, and you're able to get the, fit the ball over top. I mean, I, nine times out of ten, when it's one on one, he's going to win a situation unless you throw a long deep ball, and someone who has Night Train Lane or Deion Sanders is going to be able to hold the swap button. But you can see in situations like this, one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to be able to make the catch because he has a good size and good catching stats. And he's able to hold on to the ball after he gets hit because he has great catch in traffic. And that's the one of the main draws to someone like Devontae Parker is that you can throw those high passes and you're able to throw some of those uh, short passes and he's going to be able to hold on to it no matter whether he gets hit or not. I mean... As long as the DB is shorter than him, I guarantee I, I wouldn't guarantee that he's going to come down with it, but he has a very good chance of coming down with it. As you're going to see some of these spec catches and the coming uh, clips, as you're going to see, he has the height advantage in the catch and traffic and the jump advantage over most of these DBs, and that's going to ring true if you're going to try to ring the ball in with the aggressive catch and the spec catch. Now, I wouldn't try to do this every single play like Madden 16 because it's not going to work every single play. But definitely when you have the high end route advantage on the DB, I definitely recommend trying it out with Devontae Parker because you won't be disappointed. Now, don't go trying this against Night Train Lane and Dion and some of those ultimate ticket corners. But you definitely can count on some of these animations coming on and reacting for you when it's time. Now, something about Devontae Parker with his height is that he has great range. And, I, and by that, I mean he's able to catch the ball where a lot of other receivers can't catch the ball. And he's able to bring it down and get animation that other receivers can't a lot of the times. You see there, he isn't perfect with every catch. You saw he's able to, he's not going to catch every single spec catch. He's going to drop the ball sometimes. I mean, he is human in this game at least. But you can see that animation right there, that possession catch where he catches the ball and keeps running. You're going to get that animation a lot out of Devontae Parker. And I think that's one of the best animations to get because not only does it decrease the window for a knockout like the other spec catches where they jump in the air, if they get hit while they're in the air, he's going to they're going to drop the ball. But that spec catch animation right there is great because not only is the knockout window short for the defense but he also get to gain yards after the catch and it's great for beating cover too as you're going to see in this play right here I believe he's able to get that animation and it's the best animation to catch against cover two because you get to throw a high to the outside where the safety can't get it no matter who he is and he's going to be able to keep running and he's able to make that animation and keep the ball intact after he's getting hit so overall all in all as a pure receiver I give Devontae Parker an A plus when it comes to route running, he can run pretty good routes, one-on-one, -on -one, man coverage, cover two, cover three, no matter one-on-one, -on -one, spec catches, end zone. I mean, you can use this guy anywhere in your offense. You, you can use him in a slot to throw, to beat the seams, and he's going to be able to come down with the catch in traffic. The only thing he can't do is run block, but you already knew that because he isn't a run block and wide receiver. He doesn't have the best run block. I definitely think you should pick him up if you're thinking about getting a receiver. I definitely think you should pick him up if you're trying to get a number one, two, or three. He can fit anywhere in your offense. 
that's it for this video if you like the content please like favorite and subscribe and i'll see you around next time peace